Hi hey everybody, this is Bill Bradford and thanks for tuning in for a special edition of the Market Update. Today, I am joined by Anthony D'Angelo. Hello everyone. We've got awesome topics to cover including Top Catch Red Snapper, Did Somebody Say Organic Salmon, and we'll be reaching out to you for feedback. Organic fruits and vegetables are a big rage lately, but what about seafood? Our friends at True North Salmon are raising organic Scottish salmon. Now the FDA is yet to establish guidelines for organic salmon here in the States, but True North Organic Salmon meets all requirements set by the Soil Association of Scotland. Now they're certified organic. The farming process is carefully controlled from the Scottish hatcheries through the sea phase and then all the way to processing. Now the salmon itself still has a great fat content and incredible flavor. Yeah, uh, I was actually impressed with the quality of the fish. I mean, I know it was high-end as far as um, grading and all goes, but the fat content was extremely high for being an organic product. Um, it was actually quite impressive compared to some other organic salmons that I've had in the past. Yeah, I think everyone here kind of agreed with that, that assessment of it. So um, good things coming from True North. Uh, moving on, let's get silky. Silk Pargo Red Snapper is our highlighted fish this week. With a consistent red skin color, deep colored, and tender flesh, these are caught off Costa Rica shores such as Uvita, Nosara, and Santa Limon. Now we're also proud of our red spotted snapper, or lane snapper, which have a recognizable black spot and pretty yellow stripes. Now here at Samuels you can specify your size preference all the way down to the quarter pound range. Yeah, um, and I also want to note that there are some differences between the species, and silks tend to have a little bit of a darker flesh, which um, people are not used to anymore because people are mostly sticking with Americans or Lanes. But uh, they, it all cooks up white, and it's a great fish. There's value in it. It's a little less expensive than the other two species mentioned, and um, I'm happy that we're, we're trying to get these back in rotation. Yeah, we want to start, you know, informing of all the different, uh, you know, cooking variations for different types of snappers. So there's always something out there for everybody. Uh, speaking of red snapper, uh, we do recommend staying in touch with your sales rep regarding availability of snapper, also fish such as grouper and mahi, as Hurricane Patricia is making her presence known on the Pacific coast of Mexico. Um, good news, uh, on the other coast here, Long Island is providing us beautiful stripers. New Jersey has some great black bass and tilefish. We will advise that fluke and halibut availability is somewhat decreased. However, swordfish look amazing as fishermen right now are following them down to Georgia's banks for catch. I think the important part of that is the storm that's heading up on the uh, west coast of Mexico. And there's going to be some ramifications from that with the boats coming in, uh, some market prices jumping. So please check with your sales rep uh, beginning to mid of next week so you can get an update on what's going on with certain species that are caught down there, your mahi-mahi, uh, some of your snappers, obviously, that we had mentioned prior, uh, and some other stuff that's coming up out of that way, Corvina, etc. So, uh, again, check with your sales rep. Yeah, we're always happy to keep you guys updated. Uh, in fact, we are now calling on all of our followers for feedback. As our audience and customers you know, we want your voice to be heard. We're happy to give you the latest news from here in our office, along with any trends in the industry. But what do you want to hear? I mean, maybe you think new product info should be the main focus. Maybe services we provide or different cooking techniques for some unusual fish. Maybe we can help you out in any way possible. But we want you to comment below the video here with your suggestions, and we will send you a free Canterbury Cure Caviar T-shirt. They're pretty cool. Yeah, uh, remember this is new to us, and we want to make sure that we're we're getting this information out to our uh, our clientele in the most effective way. And we don't even know if that's what this is, but please give us your feedback. Whether it's um, a style that you'd like it to uh, come to you in a certain format, um, whether you prefer it to be more educational, maybe you'd like to keep it light, um, whether it's more just strictly price and supply and demand related, whatever it may be, please give us the feedback. We'd appreciate to hear from you. Uh, and you can do that through email or, uh, you know, commenting on the YouTube. Yeah, we'll definitely give you a shout out along with that t-shirt. So we'll let you get going. Today, I want to say thank you to Anthony for joining me. Thank you uh, for having me. And this is Bill Bradford signing off saying, remember, we're not broadcasters. We are fish people. <laughs>